Conservation Commission meeting. Um, please remember, open session public meetings are subject to being recorded. Your voice and image will be recorded and live forever on YouTube. All right, so a couple of things since we have so many people here. Um, so Kyle has officially resigned. Um, so we do have one spot. We have two applicants. <laughs> um, Ethan, everybody, everybody except for Holly met last I, week. No. Ethan Bickford, Holly. No relation. Oh. No relation, right? <laughs> Not recently. <laughs> okay. um, and Phil Mullins um, got in touch with me after, and he also is interested in being on the commission. Uh, he lives up at Highland Commons, uh, Highland Ridge, and got to see us in action all summer, <laughs> and, um, and has decided to join. So. Um, you know, we're going to do a, we'll vote somebody in, and then we'll have an associate, and um, so then, Holly, depending on what your long-term plans are, maybe um, Phil will fill your seat. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah like, would you want to become an associate instead, since, or, or, like, are you planning to be gone all winter, or... Like Next a, winter, yeah, I yeah. will be gone all winter. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. sure. So, yeah. Make more so maybe you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. well, you could That's still right. be an associate and yeah. come yeah, yeah, while yeah. you're here. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we'll we'll get all that sorted in the next couple of meetings. Yeah. But um, it's thank you both for showing interest and being excited. Excited. Yeah. They both they both want to work excited. hard. And <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, so on to the agenda. Um, um, Madam Chairman, Chair Pearson, <laughs> could we, I mean, I'd like to know, uh, we heard from Mr. Bickford last time, Ron, I'd like to know the reasons and experience that these people have so we can think about it a little bit. We're going to vote next? <coughs> uh, next week. meeting or the meeting after? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we I can do like that to, now. Sure. Yeah, I, I would like to know uh, why you're interested and what can you bring to it. Had any other experience? Any place on conservation? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're all ears. Uh, well, again, my name is Phil Mullins. Uh, I'm a new resident uh, to Highland Ridge, and I have been to several meetings. Uh, I think six, maybe seven. I can't remember the exact. I'd have to look through my calendar for sure. Uh, and we're very happy living here. And I, I think we were. I was taken by the activism of my neighbors in the community and. I was impressed with the way, I think, you know, for the most part, for in a difficult situation that the committee and the town had to uh, to deal with. Uh, I was an elected um, town uh, or village trustee in a suburb of North Chicago, and I served four years as the uh, the glamorous assignment as the uh, sewer and sanitary commissioner. So I dealt with a lot of um, uh, flooding drainage issues that I think are very pertinent to what we've experienced there. In fact, uh, as I was sharing with Carolyn the other day, we had we had one area, uh, again, with a, uh, it was adjacent to a Amtrak line, so again, I don't have to tell you how many different authorities we had to deal with uh, just in that four-year period that I served. And two of the Chicago Bulls <coughs> lived in the adjacent area, and they're, they were a little upset that, you know, they're $10 million contracts didn't keep water from coming into their basement or <laughs> <laughs> whatever the case may be. <clears throat> I, I have two degrees in political science, um, one from Hanover College. Um, my famous alums are, um, it's not a whole phone book full of them like um, Harvard or all the others, but uh, we have Woody Harrelson, Mike Pence, take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> and our congressman was. Greg Pence, the lighter and the lighter version of this. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I went back to Ball after um, getting my master's in political science at Ball State. I uh, they have a Bowen School for Public Affairs, and they have a certified public supervisor program with uh, focusing on ethics, um, the efficient delivery of government services. And I completed that program nine years ago. Um, I've been uh, unelected, though it's a political role, not a Role. I was elected a uh, national delegate for the Democratic National Convention for my district in 2016 and 2020. 
so I've been active at national level as well, and um, <clears throat> I am currently a candidate as well for this year as an at-large delegate. And um, but I'm passionate about government, pay a lot of attention to it, and um, I'd be honored to be considered to join uh, the commission. Great, awesome. And I've dealt with some, um, you know, not I've been in Casa, but you know, some other ilk of the same. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, believe me, I, I can appreciate what you had to deal with, and um, and like I say, but you know, we're happy campers. We're thrilled to be in in the, in the town, and um, we have a lot of good neighbors and a nice place to live. So we figured it'll only be better, and I can play a positive role. And mm -hmm. awesome. And I'm a team player, and I believe in uh, collaboration. So. Thank awesome. you very much for your consideration. Great. Excellent. Do you have anything in your resume speak to the, your experience in, in uh, the natural environment, outdoors, things, enthusiasm for? Well, I would say so. I mean, we, uh, I don't think we really had official trails the way you have them here, but we certainly had some involvement in the sports <clears throat> area and improving the, um, uh, I was, um, Keepers, we and we acquired two properties in the middle of our town that brought our our town hall in conjunction with the um, um, uh, how I say? Uh, oh the school well the local school very similar to this it was a town of yeah, actually a little smaller than this but the geog geography was very similar in that respect and we had a powerful advocate for improving the sports facilities because Michael Jordan's kids went to our school, same school. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask that what our, town our it was? children went. I'm sorry? Can I ask what town it was? Bannockburn, Illinois. Oh, yeah. No mm -hmm. uh, I they lived, lived in Gurney for seven years. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, he, they lived in, Highland, lived in Highland Park. He, I don't think he's been able to sell that house, but I don't think that's a big problem for us. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I say, my, my daughter thought it was a little strange watching the a guy on the uh, Wheaties box you know, just swinging his kids in the backyard and wanted nicer equipment, so he got it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you saw somebody coming, not in a school bus, but a yellow Ferrari or Lamborghini, whatever he had, or the, yeah, you know, he was there. But, but to your point, I, I think that... Um, the same considerations apply. You know, we, it was some low lying land, very confusing um, situations with, um, with the utilities and the, um, uh, and the Amtrak line that made it very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. If it had been done properly before anybody moved there, not unlike what we were dealing with at Highland Ridge. So it was um, complicated, and, but I think ultimately successful. I felt like I made a difference in the time period we were there. So. Nice. I spent a lot of time. It'd be a shame to think it didn't. That's for sure. And <laughs> others, of course, along with me. Awesome. But I have done a study of conservation. I'm, I am certainly want to portray myself as an expert. But most of the people I went through that program have all stayed with. <clears throat> better known as David Letterman University, by mm -hmm. the way. Yep. Uh, the um, most of the people worked for the Indiana um, Natural Resources, so lots of the parks people. And, uh, were there, and I was also involved in historic preservation in the little town we, uh, we lived in. So, with all awesome. that, so they're familiar awesome. issues. But uh, again, I still will be happy to have the collective intelligence and experience that you all have here to share in these decisions that have to be made. Sure. Okay. Is Maddie here? She is. Yep. <laughs> She's my twin. That's why you yeah. couldn't yeah. sit and make her out from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought about we were in line. But I said, no, I'm they were free on Earth Day. <laughs> so we I have more you, if anyone wants one. Do you have more? Yeah, they yeah. get one for free. I think you have a, a taker, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, right. What is this young lady's burning desire? To, you know, this is Holly. I know it. No. <laughs> She's already a member. I'm a member, but I'll be kicked off soon. Right. You won't be kicked off soon. It is totally yeah. volunteer. I know. Voluntary. Um, me? Why no, I'm, I'm here? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm here. We, we just hadn't seen you for a while. We forgot. I am. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I came back and I said, wow, this stuff has changed since I've been away. Even just a few months. Huh. See, I'm sorry I missed Earth Day, though. It was a bummer. Maddie and I cleaned up Gates Pond Road. <laughs> oh, you guys were I should have brought that bail in. Five yeah. hours. Yeah. I kept yep. driving by, like, out running errands, and I was like, oh, my God, they're still working. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I come home, the other day, and they're like, literally at the bottom of my driveway, and I was like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I was mortified. Um, all right. Anybody have anything else before we move on? No, I think we're ready for credit. All right. All right. Um, <coughs> All right, Fred, come on up. So you got to bring your own chair. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a tough crowd. Uh, I know. <laughs> Hi, Fred. <laughs> Can I say something? Sure. All right. I would like to know that uh, we had six people from the highway department. They cleaned up the whole of Central Street, uh, most of West Street. Um, Boylston Road, Lincoln Road, and picked up a lot of trash. So we want to, uh, you know. Truckloads. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. It's a yeah. good workout for them. It is yeah. good. <laughs> good right. workout. Yes, and they did too. it all with a <laughs> smile on their face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so weather was good. So thank Probably you. Probably easier it's than it their day job. I mean. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Slinging there asphalt is some no joke. <laughs> there is some immediate gratification about like then driving down the street. Did it look cleaner every oh, yeah. time you drove yeah, past us? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Although I was down there awesome. day and there was trash <laughs> in, in one area and I figured if they'd have cleaned it up right, it would have stayed cleaned up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Yeah, right? That was all baloney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a, a full depth reclamation and repaving of uh, Peachy Road. Okay, yeah, just um, for those sorry. who don't know, Fred is the highway oh, sorry. superintendent in town. Yeah. Okay. I already made the leap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, we're going to start right at uh, Randall Road and go to the town line in Bolton. Um, oh, awesome. The, uh, the areas that uh, we had marked for the wetlands was just inside of uh, Randall Road. Uh, there's a fire pond on one side, mm -hmm. uh, and then yeah. the overflow on the opposite side. Um, we sent out the certified letters, uh, I don't know what day it was. Uh, I believe the Muldoons. Yeah, so mm -hmm. only two cards came back. Um, I don't know what happened to the others. Mm. <laughs> oh, actually, can we have that though, or yeah. have the cards? Yeah. Just for <clears throat> the file. Actually, maybe three. Back. <laughs> Hopefully, you got three. Uh, let's see. Oh, two. <laughs> oh, two. well, these are the receipts. So two came back, one didn't. Okay. 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 So that's not too bad, right? Because it's almost all Muldoons over there, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they pretty much take the whole corner on the left. All uh, Randall. And then Most yeah. Randall. Power and yeah, Muldoon powers. Road, they should call it. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I wasn't sure if you were going to, well, obviously, we're going to put still fence and model. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wasn't sure if we're going to do the same as we did on Highland, uh, which I believe was five feet beyond, five feet before. I think uh, that worked four. out well. Okay. Um, Right, and there's no reason not to? Uh, definitely not. This is actually closer than what we had on Highland. Okay. Uh, the question I had was, uh, there's a guardrail on the uh, fire pond side, mm -hmm. and right behind that, I don't know if it's a, a rock wall or just giant boulders. Uh, does it matter if we put it before or behind uh, the guardrail? No, I think whatever is easier. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right, uh, unless someone feels differently. Highway superintendent knows the best place to put it. I agree. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it our shot. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there are two basins right there at the bottom. Uh, do you want us to put sill fence down inside that? Please. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll right. So, um, so not actually silt fence. There's actual oh, yeah, catch bait. Yes. Right. Yeah. The the appropriate materials. Yeah. Uh, the word's not coming to me at the moment, but silt sack. Silt sack. Silt sack. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot them. Otherwise, I probably would have read it on the paper uh, yep. to where we were talking about it uh, yep. last week. Um, um, yeah, because as we found out at Highland Commons this summer, when you put silt fence in as temporary, really it doesn't let the water go through. <laughs> yeah. And then people have to go and poke holes through it to get the water to drain. Yeah, yeah. and that just lets the dirt go. Correct, mm -hmm. and that completely defeats the purpose. Yeah, yeah. but it looks cool. Sure, <laughs> and it's cheap because you already bought it for the 
the yeah. silt fencing on the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we're, we're uh, <laughs> told maybe the week of the 15th, I think, is when they were hoping to start up there. Okay. Um, if we get the okay tonight, it probably won't be this week. Maybe next week we're going to get the silt fence put in. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and then, then just give us a shout, and we'll send one of our inspectors over just to make sure make sure you did a good job. All right. We still have yet <laughs> to pick up the one on Highland, even though you know we're going to do that <coughs> in the winter. Um, it's still sitting proud. Yep. Um, but yeah, we'll get that down hopefully sometime. Okay. Um, did you? Uh, so before we rip that out, was there talk that we were going to put any seed or anything up there on that? You know, I, I, what I saw, and I, I, I was up there at night with, <laughs> for a writing lesson with Grace. I could have looked at it. But what I saw last fall was that the, the ground there is just a network of roots okay. from the trees and brush that are going, growing along there. Okay. Um, you could throw some seed down, but I don't know what's going to take. It's, it's gravel and roots. Right. But I don't think you're going to have any erosion at all just because of the density of that. That, that brush just out. Yeah, it comes we, right up from the pond. Yep. yep. Yeah, so, I mean, that would, so I, as soon as you can, get that up and out of the way so that whatever is going to grow can kind of fill in that area. Um, yeah, especially now, right now is when it's going to happen, so. I'll run up there tomorrow and take another look. Okay. You want AJ to pull it out? Yeah, while you're up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put in little piles with the wash. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> um, all right, yeah, so we'll plan on doing um, the five feet beyond and uh, before it. Perfect. Um, on both sides. <laughs> um, yeah, so if that works, uh, we'll, uh, I'll get this stuff ordered. Uh, yeah. Um, probably Friday. Yep. And. Right, so in case anybody needs. Yeah, it was actually just kind of a, Maddie had to keep it hey, how about a different map? A different <laughs> yeah. map? Um, so I, I actually just took a snippet. I could pass this around too. Sure. It's Probably not as send that the other way. Pretty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fred, um, had to do with wetland or anything, but since you did, how do you determine which stretch of road to do when? Well, actually, Denny uh, always kept an index card file. Uh, yes, I mean, there's some pretty rough stretches of road, particularly Crosby Road and Upper Linden Street and around town, mm -hmm. as opposed to Upper Did Linden, like the Iron Farms? Five <coughs> Rainbows. Uh, yeah, going into Boyles. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Keith is the one that stopped up there when he did his. We came yeah. up off of uh, Barnes Hill yeah. and then came down Linden. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just like Ball Hill. Ball Hills do. Yeah. That, I think, was last done in. Oh yeah, I believe. Um, so we used a card index file. There are roads that should have been done a couple of years ago, right. but they're not really in need of it. Um, and then there are other roads that, yeah. like Lower Soy, we just did that because uh, it started delaminating. Oh yeah. And it just got really bad yeah. over the past couple of years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we changed snow plows to segment blades, mm -hmm. so they're all individual. They're one foot blades that kind of move with them. Yeah. Uh, and it just grabbed a piece of it and just kept ripping and ripping and ripping. Uh. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's that's usually done. Um, we base it off of what was in the card index and uh, yeah. the life expectancy of the road. Right. Um, but yeah, we still have Allen Roads really kind of beat up. Upper soil mm. really beat road up. stretch up by what Linky was mm -hmm. there. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Well, the idea of that is we have a pipe job. We were going to start last year, but ran out of time. Oh, I staff. see what you're waiting for, yeah. Yeah, so we were going to do um, the pipe going up Lyman Road, let it sit for a year. Yeah. Um, so everything settles. And then we were going to tie that in yeah. to the Jones Road end. Um, and that would go obviously go to Linden Street, yeah. where we had a joint. So that whole area would be all tied in together. The, the pipe just stormwater? Yeah. 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 So that was last year's plan that carried into this year's plan. <laughs> the only good thing is... Um, we're actually getting the pavement done early this year. Last year we were late in the season, uh, and we were just dealing with mowing grass most of the year. Um, so by getting all the pavement done now, the big jobs out of the way, we can start the pipe job and just run it through the summer. Right, uh, that's the awesome. The idea was just to at least get four structures in, and then 
pick it up next year. Right. Uh, but if we can do the job at one time, it's like 900 feet. Oh, cool. Uh, get it done in a season, let us sit this year. Right. Get it done this year. Any word on the progress for the South Street Bridge? We were just chatting about that. <laughs> 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 um, so it's still in the hands of MassDOT uh, okay. approval wise. Uh, the only thing I've gotten back so far was the preliminary cost estimate, which has gone up like $400,000. Yes. So it, it sits now, well, a couple months ago at, at $903,000, uh, whereas a few years ago the $500,000 grant would have just about covered it. It wow. Is, you can lead that bridge the way it is, as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure the people who live on South Street enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the weird part, people are still going down there. They're going all oh, the way down. It's four or five an hour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone Turn actually went down. So we used to, we had sandbags on the, on the, on the barriers we had. Mm -hmm. Someone actually went down, took all the bags off, dumped them out, and, and piled them neatly behind the guard or the, uh, the Jersey barriers. And drove through. <laughs> and oh no, no, oh, well, you can't drive through. But oh, just all a, the, yeah. the portable ones. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now every time the wind blows, they blow over. It's like well, we're like one step away from putting a trail camera down there. Sure. <laughs> uh, it's just ridiculous. Like there's no need of it. No. No. Mind your business. Are those yeah. your sandbags? No. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to come by for us. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. Hopefully, they were trying to get the, um, an April-May uh, bid, but uh, I don't think it's happening because uh, I don't think MassDOT's approved their plan yet. Yeah. So. All right, uh, well. Because right after we had the hearing for that, yep. the day after is when she met with uh, her person from MassDOT to get it moving. Yeah. So it's been that long. Wow. Yeah, because we <laughs> approved it as soon as we could to, mm -hmm. to keep things moving and, okay. yeah. Yeah, and any time it gets in the hands of the state. I know. If we were funding it, we could have it done by now. Sure. Yeah. You would have had it done six months ago. <laughs> Actually, it should have been started like four or five years ago. Yeah. The project. But. The All last right. thing, Fred. Oh, yeah. That you do? parking lot up at Jaeger Woods. Oh, is that, a, is that all right? Oh, boy. Oh. Huh? How about that? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Yeah. The we only really thing is, it. we're going to miss that big rock right at the entrance that rips out undercarriages. That's <laughs> <laughs> that had a few marks to it. Yeah. That was one of the first ones. Yeah. Uh, but Thank we did suffer one casualty when they were hauling dirt in one day. Uh, they cut the corner too wide. And uh, you know that big rock yeah. right on? Oh, yeah, he hit the air tanks, took a... Took a fitting off the air tank. Oh man! Put a crease no. in the other tank, so that's why it's kind of pushed back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think he gained like one width of the rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, I mean, that went pretty slick. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. The work. yeah. Uh, we appreciate it greatly. Well, it's nice getting it done early in the season because hopefully the sun will bake that mm -hmm. and it'll right. get harder. Yeah. The more people that drive on it, it'll get harder. Sure. Um, I just wouldn't recommend trying to plow in the winter, unless it gets really hard to sell. Yeah. Right. What yeah. would you? <laughs> it should be there for a while. Yeah. Um, when we finish up uh, Lois Sawyer, there's uh, the conservation one right down there, the small one. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put some material on the end of that because it's that would be great. Yeah, yeah, that one's always uh, been. Brook. White Oak Farm? No, Great, Great Oak Farm. Great Oak Farm. Great Oak. Right. Yeah. So not Sawyer Hill on the south side of 62, Sawyer Hill north Road side. on the north side. Okay. Um, just on the other side of the gravel pit, right? Yeah. It's that far down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. probably yeah. not quite three quarters of the way down. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we term it as Lower Sawyer and then Upper Sawyer. Right. Gotcha. When really it should be. I right. know. Yeah. That always throws me off. Well, yeah. It depends on how you think about no, it. No, no, right. No. right. Yeah. Are, are we doing north south or are we doing high low? Yeah. <laughs> I do high low. I was going to say, they're, they're highway guys. They're doing elevation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so once we're filling edges down there, uh, we'll dress that one up as well. We've been going be around doing a lot of the, the turnarounds and parking areas uh, the past couple of days. Awesome. Kind of like filling jobs. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it greatly. Very nice. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, one other question I had. Uh, at some point, I haven't checked with the fire department. Up here at Mount Pisgah, 
you know how we've had to go in there for lost hikers and things. Mm-hmm. Not, I mean, it's a little off topic, but anyway, <laughs> uh, the boulders that are there. Is there a chance that we can actually change the boulders to a swing gate um, to get the gator in? Which uh, just about which Dennis entrance? Parkland. Oh, on Linden. Yeah, just up around from uh, Lyman. Um, well, obviously, it would have a lock on it and, and all that. Yeah. I don't see why not, right? Because I think the only place they can get the gator in is up, the next one up where we put the fence up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, or come in from the north row end. Right. How um, wide is the gator? That I'm not 100% sure. I think we left like six or seven feet, I think, up when we did the fence. Because I wouldn't be surprised if, if you, like, it's not as wide as a car, right? Or is it oh, no, know? definitely not. So why not just space the boulders such that a car can't go up there, but wide enough for the gator? Yeah. Nothing stops people. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's hard. Fred, of, uh, why do you want to get in there? Uh, if there's an injured hiker, if we have to get in there for a brush fire. Or if there's another fire, yeah, because yeah. was, there was a lot of trouble with that. Getting through that whole swampy area there was a pain in the ass, too. I, I, I know Brian Belfer, so we were talking about it. Yeah. And he's planning on putting some bridges in there, but that's a, un, unrelated. But yeah, cause right. even though, cause Down off of Lyman. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that, was, that was rough. I guess they got a few of them stuck in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they were, it was just tough getting up in there with water and everything. Sure. Uh, yeah. And I figured if there was a way that we could do that, you know, almost like we did at Garfield Woods, there's a, there's a chain across. Yes. The yep. Uh, but not everybody, obviously, would have a key. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just something to think about in the future. I haven't even said anything to them about it. All right. Yeah. We, we can definitely talk about it. All right. All I'll, right. I'll mention it to them. And okay. See what kind of pushback I get from them. Right. <laughs> Um, all right, so my next step would just be uh, get the cell phone phone. Yep, uh, give us a call. Off. All right, we will do that. Awesome. Hopefully we get some dry weather. Mm, all right. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been hasn't been too bad yeah. recently. Yeah, we don't need any more of it. All right, we well, appreciate you meeting with me again all right. this year. Maybe I'll see you again next year. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. And I guess oh, as we just always. have to vote to issue a negative. Oh yeah. Oh right. So this was an RDA. Yep. Yeah. Um. So. Um. We actually need to vote. So a negative determination of applicability means that they do not have to file a notice of intent. So moved. Second. Second. Oh. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, I will ask you to vote to issue a negative determination of applicability. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, Fred, um, do you want to hang out for a second and we'll sign this and Maddie can give you the original? Sure. That'd be great. Thank you. It's amazing how cold it's in. It is in here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And last night it was extremely hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's. So I learned to dress in layers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I kind of almost wish I wore a little something a little <laughs> yeah. heavier. I was I was yeah. afraid I'd be too warm. Another stack layer. of sweatshirts back there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, there's still some. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you can take one on your way out, Fred. <laughs> there you go. Right there. <laughs> I might take one now to wear it. <laughs> yeah. um, there's Thanks medium, there. extra large, and uh, there's one extra, extra large. So. All right. It's very cozy. Yeah. All right. yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. I know Holly's okay. spent all, <laughs> all winter. Your blood thinned out. Yep. <laughs> Bouncing around from warm temperature to warm temperature. It's rough. It might have gotten down into the 40s. A little bit, you know. What, in Florida? Yeah. Oh, no. At night, in Alex. December. Yeah. December, January, yeah. it can get that cold. It can get yeah. that cold. For like three or four hours. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, Susan grew up in South Florida, so I've oh, yeah. heard tell of, of um, lizards falling out of trees and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. 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 I, don't I don't want to take the most popular one. You don't want to. All right. right. Oh, uh, Holly, you're in the tropics. Yeah. Yeah. From my senior trip yeah. in to Minnesota okay. yeah. in December. Oh. oh it's a <laughs> large. I think you don't it's have. a rough adjustment. It's like when I was 12, my parents were like, oof. 
we went on a family sure. trip to Arizona course, yeah. and then came back and it was February. Oh, do, do you want one of those? It was like 15 degrees. Do you want one? Do you want one? All right. That was Louise. Rough, rough disembarking. <laughs> And John, we finally have a DEP number, huh? Oh, <laughs> I know, right. almost. We're, we're just going to, Maddie's just going to make copies of this and give it to Fred. Um, Should I approach that? Sure. Come sit with the fun kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, we probably kind of beat it to death on the site already. We kind of covered most of the points, yes? Yeah, I don't know how fun that is. This is uh, 39 Story Hill Road. So we're going to construct a new home from Barnes, and we filed a notice of intent, but it took uh, DEP oh, quite a while to oh, issue the number, but I guess we have the number. Oh, so, yeah. So we okay. can have a hearing. Yes, we can have a hearing. Um, so if I'm going to move the plans to the middle. So four everybody's reference so this is so all of the blue are the blue is existing yep yeah. and the orange are it's what's going to be built state. yep that's the Henry wheel of farm right yep so and th our the application from us is for the removal of that big rectangle yeah the old greenhouse yep right here that little rectangle yeah and that little rectangle yeah well I th yeah I think I think this this one's actually outside the Oh, outside the buffer uh, zone, well, yeah. Kind of, but so, uh, yes, yeah. yeah. So those Close. two structures mm -hmm. are the ones that we, right? And the big rectangle doesn't actually have any structure other than the foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 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 is a shed, uh, and this is uh, just a about a three foot tall concrete wall that was a base for a greenhouse. Right. But the actual glass and structure of it's gone. Oh, no. Yeah, yep. it's just. A, Vegetation filled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll make it yep. extra fun. Yeah. In invasive cool. vegetation, yes, a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, sumac and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna uh, restore it to metal. Fabulous. Cool. Um, and we had a site visit for those those of you who, who though some of you guys weren't at the last meeting, but we had a site visit with, with a few members. Yep. And so I think the limits of the wetland and the the uh, silt fence proposals should be pretty clear. I have no changes to the plan at all, none. Right, right. So the dark dotted line is where the silt, the erosion controls will go. Yep. Um, and then, and there's, I believe we talked about this before, but there's really not much heavy equipment that's going to go in, especially on the other side of no, the buffer. No, I, I don't have any work to do over here. If, as long as I can fit, you know, I'll just put this silt fence in so I can get one one excavator along back and forth here. Right. And we'll keep all the trucks and stuff coming in from the existing drive. So I don't, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to push up against that silt fence really at all. Right. Anywhere. That's pretty much an intermittent. That's an intermittent stream. It right? is. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's um. It's a ditch. Right. Yep. Yeah. It's an I old field. In 1957, I was employed yeah. in that place. Oh, yeah. Plowers, probably had to, probably <laughs> had to <laughs> weed, the, weed the ditch. <laughs> no, weed the greenhouse. Oh, oh the <laughs> greenhouse. Yeah. Well, he's doing the final greenhouse weeding now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mechanized. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, those the robots. <laughs> Um, excellent. So, yeah, so, and DEP issued the number. They didn't have any comments. Um, so it's pretty, this is a pretty easy, pretty cut and dry. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nothing mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. It's all wide open, too. There's, I mean, it, what you can't tell on paper, right. this is all wet, wide open meadow, the whole thing. There's a crossing of the stream uh, right here. It's a culvert. So pretty much open book. Yeah. So what do you mean? Just need a motion to approve an NOI for the removal of those two structures? Yep. On the plan dated uh, date. Uh, March 12th, 
Yep. So I think you need a motion to close the hearing and then a motion no. to issue. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll make a motion to close the hearing for DEP 107-274. Second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, so we've closed the hearing. Uh, issue the NOI. There's going to be, you know, it's there's. I don't even think there's going to be any additional special conditions. Yeah, I just I kind of pretty much drafted it. Just kind of the standards of. Let's see. <laughs> just because it was such a straightforward project. Right. Just like the standard, like this condition will apply to whoever owns the property. Um, yep. Uh, when uh, you're all done, you'll need to come get a certificate of compliance. Right. Before you start, you'll put in the erosion controls, give us a call to inspect. Um, and you want to you want to schedule a submittal of a work schedule, too, at some point? Or, or just basically we just want to know when your erosion controls are. Well, I, guess, I guess you'll be keyed in by the fact that I'll call for an inspection. Of yeah. Right. Erosion yeah. Control. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then when we're done. Yeah. Yep. Apply for it. Yep. If you make any changes, you have to come see us. Um, no clearing of trees or disturbing of soils. Um, oh, that's for the pre construction meeting. Oh, other than what's absolutely necessary in order to put in the erosion control. Yep. Um, blah, blah. Yeah. So, pretty much. Put in the erosion controls, give us a call, we'll inspect it, and if you make any changes, let us know. If anything, if the hydraulic line breaks and spews into the wetlands, you got to let us know. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Uh, <laughs> let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and then I find no drums of... Now Anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> or any Toward farm you. waste? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oil tank? Yeah. yeah. No oil dumps on the grounds. Um, the the greenhouse had heat, but the tanks were above ground. I checked. I looked really carefully for that because yeah. you know to protect my client. I didn't want to find them. Right. You know, keep and the surprises to a minimum because there was a there's a there's a still an old yeah. abandoned furnace in the basement of the greenhouse yeah. building. Yeah, one time almost mm -hmm. all the farms in town had a dump right on the property. Before. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like how many is required? We, s we still I'm find so oil tanks that <laughs> are not supposed to be there mm -hmm. with regularity. Wow. There's still lots of them out there. <laughs> yeah. Pe people just sell the house and don't tell anybody. But then you find them. Right. <laughs> Hopefully they're still intact. Right. Mm -hmm. Little, cheap, little baby love canal. <laughs> You, you, know, you know what it's like to, to go to your client and say, this is what we just found right. you know, in your brand new backyard or in the parking lot of your commercial building project in the center of Worcester. Right. Mm -hmm. It's, it's life-changing money sometimes. It's right. Mm -hmm. it's sure. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Anyhow, none here. None here. None here. All right. Um, so a motion to approve the NOI. Moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And Maddie, I'm, I'm to file this and bring you Yep, record. so if you could file this with the registry of deeds. Yep. Um, and just, uh, I'll file it and bring you or, yeah, or just, yeah. I'll bring you uh, the receipt, whatever. Yep. Email, a copy of yep, pretty much. something. Awesome. I'm sure, yeah, it's, and I'm sure it's gone up again <laughs> since I did the last one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we, so we do have a mailbox right out here in the hall. Okay. If you swing by during the day, okay. you can just drop it in there. Will do. Yep. Oh, right. Right, right. I haven't heard much about this. The only thing I, I I went by there Monday, I believe it was, and somebody put up a silk fence at the bottom of the thing, but without an appointment to go inspect it, I don't know if it's incorrect. So, right. I should take a picture of it. the way you see. All right, we'll talk about it in a few minutes. Okay. 
All right. Um, I'm going to let you do the rest of it. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for your I mean, I thank you for your patience, not that any of us had any choice in the matter. <laughs> well, you know, when I was 25 years old, I just wouldn't have slept for six weeks. But now, right. <laughs> yeah. these things just take time. We all learn. All right, so that's the bills, and I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Um, I, you know, you're going to. Yeah, Maddie's going to give you the give original to original. file. Yep. yep. She's just going to make copies. I'm going to make sure I get Do you want, to come, you want me to come by another time? Do you want to come get it tomorrow Hold or something? Or? Is this? <laughs> I want you to. I just want to make sure I yeah. get the right date. Oh. I need them. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the EDP it's near the. Thing, right? <laughs> okay, so I think I do have them. Right, it's near the beginning, right? Yep. And then also on the end. Yeah, I think there's the one on the end delivered. that says where you if you hand delivered it. Or yeah, that's on the signature page. Oh, okay. I saw that, and then there's also one that says like this is good until. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, my hands, I have are, too many my hands are so cold. So I'll, I'll, I'll come get that. You don't have to, you, cold, you, you want to do it now? Or? Yeah, I can do it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We should all be this. I know. I know. We got a. We have a nice easy night tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Right. <laughs> night is young. Um, we did. Everybody see Pat's most recent um, monitoring report for mm -hmm. Highland Ridge. I didn't mm -hmm. see no. that. Thank you, Maddie. She's she's on it. <laughs> was it uh, emailed? It was. Oh, yep. Was that a while ago? Hmm? Was that a while ago? A couple of days. A couple of days ago. The, so tw the 27th was when the, ins so the report date is the 29th, which was yesterday? Mm hmm Monday. Monday? Monday. No, Monday. Yeah. yesterday, yesterday was, was the 30th. 30th. Yes. I'm Monday. Can't even believe Wednesday's over, so. I know. <laughs> um, okay, so basically, uh, the site remains stable. The rear northwest basin appears to be functioning normally. Grass is generally slow to grow across the site. Um, close inspection of graded loam within the 100 foot buffer appears to be thin with to no topsoil. Areas may require augmentation. And actually, this picture shows it best. But there's. The, the jute netting is there, and there's some yellow grass, but um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Well, can I see them? You may. Oh, yeah. You. Uh, just yeah. You can actually you. see them in person, right? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's really that's really the whole report. Right. Um, the swale, the rilling that was happening in the middle, um, they really installed. The um, sure. the uh, grass, the sod, sod. thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I think she's going for sod. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, my whole entire day just caught up with me. <laughs> um, they, they really put the sod in correctly, like with dirt underneath it. Oh, good. And um, see, hopefully, hopefully it'll hold, but it seems to be doing its job. Yep. So, let's see. Uh, so that's good. That's you, you know. The sod is, that's for sure. is it right? <laughs> you know, there is a small area on Wheeler Hill Road, um, and it's beyond our property. But uh, I mean, they actually did a pretty good job. They did what Patrick asked them to do. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, it's okay. But there is a, a place higher up. They've done nothing, and they said, "Well, no grass won't grow there." Right. I think it will grow there. <laughs> so I don't know how. Uh, what the role you know mm. the, the committee will have on that but I, it's not nearly as impactful it never was as much as obviously that area was right but I, I would encourage the next time there is an inspection just to take a glance at that because they should do you know that. where he's talking about oh, the kind of place. Yeah. 
Right. It's behind from like from from the top. So as you drive into Wheeler, you know, the, mm -hmm. it's the first three homes. That area behind there, there's just like a there's oh. a rounded bridge there, and uh, they said they would do it, and then they changed their mind. So it's so there units, right now. Is that where units thirteen and fifteen are? Uh, well, uh, we're at number nine, so oh. they they treated it up to seven. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, right, okay. Now, and, and, but yeah, there is now. that yeah. ridge there that certainly is going to just keep eroding without something growing there. Uh, okay. Of course, it'd be sad that they don't seem, you know, like I say, uh, they cut the uh, side of the strips of nine inches. <laughs> you know, but, you know I, I obviously the budget was limited. So, uh, at any rate, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but, uh, and I'm sure my, in fact, I saw, I had dinner with our neighbors last night, and um, they said, well, they're just going to do it themselves if they want, but it would be nice if he, uh, sure. we'd like mm -hmm. to get in his budget a little bit more. Sure. It might cost him a couple hundred dollars. I mean, <laughs> Grass seed's expensive. Yeah, really. At <laughs> any rate, thank you. Uh, nothing new at Maplewood? No. Nope. Thank goodness. <laughs> Uh, we've got that. Oh, um, all right. Let's go back up. I didn't see minutes. Uh, so I did send minutes out with the agenda over the weekend, Sunday maybe. Yeah. Are those the April third ones? Yeah. Okay, I saw those because I was reading them and I was like thinking of all these issues and I was like, I look back at the date. I was like, oh, this was okay. The beginning of the month. <laughs> so, um, all right. So we, have, we had another meeting after that, right? Yep. Okay. April seventeenth. Okay. All right. Yep. So we'll just vote. All, all at once, because okay. I haven't read them, so okay. I, and I'd like to look at them. Um, Are we talking about the minutes? Oops, yep. Oh, okay. Throwing my water bottle all over the place. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, um, treasurer's report. Any change? Nope, pretty much. No changes. So. Um, yeah, I, on that brush clearing on River Road, I paid um, Jeff D'Amico a couple hundred bucks to chip wood and everything. So okay. Reimburse me or not on that. Sure. We'll take that out of the budget. I think we have plenty there. Yeah. I agree. We'll come up at the end of the year, so yep. we should spend it. Yep. <coughs> Excellent. About half what he would have got if he were doing a private job. Or something. Uh, at conservation land. Excellent. Um, all right. Does someone want to make a motion to pay Walter two hundred dollars? Reimbursement for brush chipping. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Um, I'll let you fill out that form. Okay. <laughs> and then as soon and then we'll all sign it. Okay. Um, and do we have any other bills or anything? Uh, so no bills. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, National Grid did reach out to us, letting us know that they'll be doing soil boring, veg vegetation, and maintenance. <laughs> so through just, May. just kind of everywhere. Like just the general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just here. <That's> <laughs> here. Here we're gonna do a bunch of stuff around yeah. town. What, what, is there a project number on the top there? Oh yeah, the W one twenty three. So that's along the aqueducts. Oh. From like you know like. Uh, you know, like Bellevue Ave, like that <laughs> right area. That's the W. Mm -hmm. what's w so National Grid, they're so. What's the soil boring? Why, why are so they? They're going to redo that line, so they're um, doing soil borings. They're just at certain structures. Oh, there's power lines that go along the top of the aqueduct. <laughs> no, that's so like um, it's the one that comes from Clinton. Yeah. So when you go it. it like especially if you're like down near Bellevue. Oh it yeah. Runs along there. Yep. The so subterranean. Well, like they're down. You mean like down the hill there? What? No. Oh, they're not oh, buried. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. No. It's, yeah. Oh no, it's not underground. Oh okay. It's not underground. <coughs> so, I've not, I've not seen that. Before. Yeah. So if you go, if you go walk the aqueducts, mm -hmm. it's it's that line. Cool. All right. And so they're working they on just, the They're let us know and let us letting us know, but there's not really anything we can do about it. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. even and if we, there must not be any soil borings in wetlands or whatever. Otherwise, they would have right, right, and that's all upland anyway, I believe. Hmm. Look, that we have a map right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use your map. Thank you. <laughs> I 
I need a laser pointer, or at least a long. Remember the long pointer sticks that teachers used to have? Yeah. Yeah. Tape measure. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, they used to feel good across the yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say they were they were knuckle busters. Yeah. Okay. Clinton. Yeah, so yeah, where so am I coming in the over? One? Yeah. The this is the off. No. This yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. So it, I don't know how I don't know much about the project, but it's. I think it goes along over there too, you know, like Boylston Road. Yeah. Right. So Bellevue's over here. Yeah, so, so it comes all up along right, there. Right. So this. And yeah. then when you get to like five corners, it goes up the hill, that steep hill, mm -hmm. and then it goes towards Clinton along the aqueduct here. Uh, nope. No. Uh, that's other, more like yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, right there. There yeah, we go. Yeah. It. Yep. Right there. So that's the whole how it runs. Right. Um. It's actually. A I know. <laughs> water in there. So there's definitely water along here. There's water here too. So they won't do borings at, at every structure. It's only where there's foundations. Okay. So are they just checking the density of the soils, basically? Yeah, they just check to see if there's like bedrock or so you, so make you sure know. the poles aren't sinking, yeah. kind of thing. Well, uh, no. So like the structures that need a foundation, like they just they do soil borings to make sure that mm -hmm. you know you know if there's like bedrock. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to like drill through rock and stuff to do the foundations and right. things right. like that. So, so what yeah. exactly are they doing? Okay. Soil borings. Right. <laughs> For what purpose? Which to, that's yeah. so yeah, sorry, to redo the lines, to rebuild the lines, so they'll okay, put in new structures. Okay. So where the where the structures are that need a foundation, we do soil borings. What there. kind of structures? You know, like a utility pole. Oh, okay. Like the transmission. Right. Towers. So the footings for they're, they're the utility pole. They're putting the, the footings in. And this is on the, the aqueduct. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it mostly runs along the aqueduct through Berlin. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Holly's like, are we done yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it actually warmed up. <laughs> well, your hair was wet too, was so wet. that doesn't That's help. True. Yeah. It yeah. It's still wet. Um, anything else we should? talk about so we were ready to we conquer the, to the CRs kind of, like, um <laughs> yeah like okay so but there's nothing else administrative so all right we yes we should do that <laughs> okay so Maddie wonderfully <laughs> went through the CR for yeah, Mount Pisgah on the foundation that was the national oh. I know. Yeah. We know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. Uh, the CR from Mount Pisgah. So, um, Sudbury Valley Trustees has looked at it and made some changes, and we were all pretty glassy eyed at the last meeting, like, Oh geez, do we really have to read every <laughs> line and what what matters? So then Maddie pulled that out for us about what matters. Do well, I think she had done that last time, and we still didn't have the <laughs> yeah, the correct, it. right? <laughs> yep. So basically, there's two things that we really need to approve. One, right? One is adding the um, map of the parking area, the delineation of the parking area on Lyman Road and changing that from Exhibit C to Exhibit E. Um, the other is that because SVT helped us out financially with the purchase of ho the Horseshoe Pond piece, and actually this is the CR just for Horseshoe Pond, um, they would like to have a right to 13% of the proceeds should the land ever be sold. It's never going to be sold. Yeah. It's in conservation. It's, we've got Article 97, like it's never going to be sold. And <coughs> what percentage did they contribute to the whole price? They, they, yeah, that's and what that's the, just perfectly reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So that's, that's why they want that in there. So that if mm -hmm. something so they recoup their money if they should ever anything ever happen, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So do we just need to vote uh, to approve that language? Yeah. 
Okay, yep. so I'll make a motion to approve the revised language to allow um, a return of 13% to SVT, SVT if the land is ever sold. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 And did we already vote on the parking area last week? Yep, so we that's what vote I thought. on the parking area. The other one was the lot sizes. So when they surveyed the oh, smaller right. parcel, <laughs> they found out that it was actually bigger than we had originally expected. So they were wondering if they include, the, include right, that Right, so size. it's actually smaller. So the size went from 100.23 acres to 100.9 acres. Oh, I thought I had said huh. point 90. I, I thought I said point nine zeros as well. Mm, it's 90 here. Yeah, I think. Well, zero nine. Yeah. Zero, nine. zero nine. Yeah, zero yeah. nine. Sorry. Um, I don't have any. So, yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that when we did all of the town meeting stuff that we voted on, it was a hundred plus or minus acres. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. um, so I know we're still fine there. Okay. And yeah, so a motion to accept the change in lot size. I'll make a motion to accept the change in lot size. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Right. What else you got for us? And then the other part was so who do we put on the line for? Conservation Commission, so basically just remove Kyle. We're going to remove Kyle, and I know. Do we need anybody else? We have them? No, right. that would cover so, the core. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay, yeah, just remove Kyle. We'll remove Kyle. All right. Now I think that's pretty much it. And then uh, Highland Ridge, that CR was pretty straightforward. They didn't really have any direct questions for us. They just wanted us to approve basically the changes they made, which were, I don't know, like they removed boating from. Yeah, true. Right. <laughs> so we re definitely yeah. should restrict it. Yeah. Well, motorized boating. Restrict motorized boating. I would right? like canoes mm -hmm. and that would be just fine. <laughs> um, so we just need to vote to accept the Highland Ridge CR. Yep, as presented, I guess. <laughs> as presented. Uh, so moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Let's get this done. Mm -hmm. Madam, Madam Select Board Member. No, Madam just regular. Madam Peg. <laughs> A quick question. On the parking online and down in McGrail's old land, Yeah. is there anything going to be done with that? Because the cars are starting to stack up on Lyman and on Linden, I think they're walking the aqueduct, but it's starting to right. cause a bit of a traffic concern. So we do have designated parking that we just voted. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I mean, we can definitely do something to clean up that area and make it more obvious that people are supposed to park there, but they're probably still going to park on the side of the street. Right. Okay. Unless we put up no parking signs, like especially if if there's sight lines at the corners that are problems, maybe we need a no parking from here to corner sign. What's that? Right on the right side. Uh, yeah. So across the McGrail's, McGrail house. Yeah. So where McGrail's was, and there's really right. the two spots. People are parking there. They're parking down before you swing down onto Linden. And then those spots right there, either right as you take the corner and then right before yeah. you hop onto the aqueduct, there are cars always there. So, so and that's free, like, like relatively new the past couple of years, right? I wonder, like, is there an aqueduct walking meetup group or something? Because <laughs> they're mowing the aqueduct more often, huh. that it's quieter and safer. Was it yeah, just in it's just in the last couple of years? Yeah, the cars are starting yeah. to park there. It's yeah. it's probably just pandemic. I mean, people are were getting out more. Sure, the, it you know. Mount Pisgah definitely got discovered by oh a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. That seems like a good area that actually widened it out there, Peg. And the NBC must own that land right I up to the road. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if. Well, we own both sides right. from 
Oh, that's right, we do. Don't is we? it from your house to the corner, or mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the stone wall right across from my house, down the road. Right. Yep. Right. To the corner of Linden Street. Yep. Yeah, to the yes. Corner yeah. Then yeah. Um, yeah. So we. I <laughs> 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 nice try, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> um, where am I? Is well, it the you know parking lot over here? Yeah. As you put so it's the parking lot. Like right yeah, and it's right. MDC. Right. right. So if you went up, to, up to, Linden to, Street. Yeah. Lyman, and it's yep. on the right hand side. Exactly. Yep. The MDC I drove by on the way here. Right. Um, yeah, so we can definitely, you know, get get working. Does anybody actually use what's going to be the parking area as the parking area? Well, you know, he used to use it, but he, did, he hasn't been seen lately. Nice. Yes. So where is the area that's going to be a parking lot? So um, you know where the driveway was? Yeah. So that area. Yeah. yeah I've only. Seen, yeah, I've seen cars parked there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but unfortunately there's only two spots. Yeah. You know, and then that's when people start parking road, road, right. road. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so is it like a site issue, sight line issue, where people are parking too close to the intersection? Well, the problem is, too, is that now since Crosby Road is now the cut through mm -hmm. with um, South Street, South Street being yeah. closed. Closed. closed, you've got higher volumes of traffic, yep. quicker yep. volumes of traffic, and a lot of people are walking. Yeah. So there's just a concern of... Because they don't yield at the sign. Yeah. And right. that's like a suggestion. And yeah. you just gain speed going down the road until you go right or left onto Linden. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. When they're coming from Cros uh, the Crosby. Oh, from Crosby. From yeah. 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 And then vice versa, going the other way, taking the corners off of Linden. And where it splits and line and goes up like this, they just go right. down Crosby. Yeah. What does Eric think about it? You talk to him? Kevin, I didn't know what was going on with you guys. Yeah. All he'll probably say is that we need to put a traffic advisory request together for a no parking sign. Really? Do you want blah, blah, blah. Okay. You can't just buy a no parking sign? No. I, w I wouldn't put no parking up there. I'd, make a, I'd accommodate the parking. You can get them off that road. I brought drivers several times a day, and uh, I know where the parking is. And you're right, if we if with no parking near the corner, mm -hmm. Right. Then across from the house, right. you could park there easily. Yeah. And then we could widen, enlarge the parking lot uh, where the driveway is, too. So that would take care of that. But okay. They, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Especially. And it's MDC land, so yeah. they could. Uh, Which one? Where is the MDC? Across from the house. The aqueduct. The MDC owned right up to the road where the aqueduct is. No so our parcel that's on that side of the road. It's on the other side of the aqueduct. It's down over the aqueduct. Uh, it doesn't have a frontage. Down the rail mm -hmm. mm. Well, they won't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Linden. Linden. I'm in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yep. Um. Okay, well, um, maybe we can, now that we've, this is moving on, um, we can talk to SVT and try to get that parking area done this summer. How many, given the size of the parking area, how many cars do we anticipate putting in there? I, th I think it's more than two. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it, we basically did the, the what we're allowing for parking is tree line to tree line to mm -hmm. tree line. Ah, okay. And so that's like at least six, I think. At least six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's, there would be enough space to back out, scoot around, back out, go. Right, you right. Know, Peg, what if, the, what if the chief wrote the MDC and just said, We've got a traffic problem, and they're using the aqueduct. And the aqueduct is encouraging the use mm -hmm. of that, and just suggests to them if they could accommodate that. I bet they move in there and uh, gravel that, and put a gravel parking lot opposite where we are. And that might, would take care of the there. hikers there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Denny Bartley has a problem. Come on out in his driveway. They park on his side, so that 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 could be a no parking. Denny could rent there. spaces. 
in his driveway. Right. <laughs> Could you put a sign up at the new parking lot saying that there are other parking spaces on Linden Street. We definitely could. Yeah. Yep. Right. Because the one that has the fence, you know, you can fit about seven or eight cars in there. Oh, easily. Yeah. Not right. And very few unit. people use that lot. Yeah. I yeah. have seen the whole parking lot full. You know, they're all lined up Good. so that they can back out. And yep. Right. Yep. But not very often. Yep. And I haven't heard anything about the fence not working out. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that is working out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Good. So we should, we'll keep that on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's see, what else do we have? All right, the enforcement order at 39 Boylston Road. Take it away, AJ. <laughs> I happened to drive by, and uh, there's a wetland at the bottom of the slope off of Lincoln. Is this mm -hmm. side street there? Yeah. Uh, they were working right up against. So this is the house oh, with the, 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 yeah, the yeah, stone yeah, yeah. Yeah. trestle oh, at okay. the driveway. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Is that and where the old railroad mm -hmm. bridge was? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And literally, that, that slope is quite steep, and literally at the bottom is the wetland. So there was no, no buffer between the, the work that was going on with the machinery. And uh, Walter accompanied me over there and um, laid down the law. <laughs> <laughs> Stop or else. And they, and they did. Uh, so I, uh, I wrote up an enforcement order and delivered it along with... Um, the necessary instructions and paperwork to fill out an NOI. And uh, the woman who accepted it actually uh, introduced herself as Anna, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, well, we, we've stopped working. I said, well, uh, I think we're going to want to inspect and make sure there was no damage and you still right. have well, to do the paperwork. Well, they have to the restore what yeah, they right. did. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and uh, the fellow said, didn't he say he was just going to plant grass seed on there? Yeah. He said, I'm a landscaper. I know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think something, <laughs> no, something wasn't going right. That. Well, anyway, yeah. they, we've got to yeah. inspect it. They've yeah. got to do We certainly yeah. got to so, Right. Plan. So maybe we should write them a letter. So they did reach out to us. Oh, good. Um, so they have contacted uh, wetland scientists to go out there. Uh, they do not... They weren't able to submit an NOI for the deadline that you set. Uh, okay. But I said we would discuss it tonight and figure out. Okay, well, at least they've reached out and, you know, yeah. I mean, that's... I did invite them to come to the meeting to discuss it, but they already had plans. I just did it yesterday. Okay. Um, it's pretty short notice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're going to have the lot delineated? Yeah. So, so please consider this letter as a formal request to file an extension on the notice of intent application received on April 18th, uh, 2024. With sincere apologies, given that we unknowingly not familiar with the Hunter for Buffer and its guidelines, tried to perform landscaping work adjacent to the wetlands. We hired a lo local wetlands specialist and licensed surveyor in good faith. Uh, after our on-site meeting with the wetland speci specialist, it is recommended that we need more time to compile an application checklist. If possible, can we ask for a 30-day extension? Mm -hmm. uh, and they provided the contact information as well. Of who they hired? Uh, not of who oh, they hired, who, just there. theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's and so you, uh, you just said we were going to talk about it tonight? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's all perfectly reasonable. Yeah. And I'm assuming they're not doing any work until... Correct. So they did yeah. put up silt fence, you said, yeah. when you drove by. I haven't been able to go in and look at it because I didn't know what the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if it's um, right. Fabulous. That's exactly how it should It's working. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> that's all we want. We just want you to do it right. Geez, Walter showed up and they just right? snapped you. <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> you didn't take any prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> Um, excellent. You know so, do we need to do? Does anybody feel the need to vote, or Maddie can just tell them thirty yeah, days is granted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Yep. 
Um, and yeah, give them a date. Give them a date of the what? The first meeting in June. Yep. Yep. And right. uh, perfect. And did this get sent off to DEP? Did you send a copy to DEP for the enforcement mm -hmm. order? No, I just put it in the box. Okay. <laughs> Did you find it? He yes. put it in this yep. mailbox. Right he, he mailed it to you. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I will send this in the DEV. <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, good job, Walter and AJ. Thank you very much. And <coughs> hopefully that will all go the way it should. Um, I, I know I kind of feel like I'm jumping around here, but... <laughs> Uh, Ball Hill Conservation Area Forest Stewardship Walk, May 11th. Yep, so Gary confirmed. All they right. can do May 11th, so 10 a.m. at Agar Woods parking lot. That is nicely redone. So I know, we can right? Pull in there. <laughs> where, where will it be? Uh, uh, Agar Woods parking area. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So that's May 11th. At what time? Uh, 10, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. First, first light. Right on the edge of first light for me on a Saturday. Uh, <laughs> Man, I get to sleep in like crazy. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'm not even going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> I have the weed warrior training that day. Oh, that's yeah. oh, so, right. <laughs> I miss I miss this bit of fun, but uh, I, I I can't I, I can't wait to fall to take that. I, I mean, I don't want to. Right. Um. um. So for our two new members, or whatever, um, the Potential so what the, right so what this <laughs> is about is so there's a piece of conservation land up on Ball Hill Road that um, we are working with a, um, forester. a forester to develop a, a forestry plan for the property to enhance it for bird habitat. Maddie is a licensed bird bander, and last summer, start last was your first, yep. right? Yeah. Last summer, set up a um, a bird banding station. Caught a whole bunch of birds. Put little bands on their feet. It's the best thing cool. if you, <laughs> um, especially if you're a morning person, uh, to yep. go up there and help her out. You get to release birds and watch her weigh them and inspect them, and it's. So we'll be doing this June and July again. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, I'll send I would out be interested, and in, I, I know, I know, Susan would be very okay. interested. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yep. it's so cool. And then in the um, fall and. She attempted this spring, spring but, but last fall, um, she also, at the same area, um, put up nets for saw-wet owls. Mm -hmm. Migrating. They they're migrate. about this big. Yeah, they're little, little They're guys. fabulous, and I am a night person, so I went and did that. <laughs> <laughs> How many owls did, did we fit? 52? Yeah, 52. Oh, wow, yeah. Yep. Wow. Last yep. fall, yeah. It was... <laughs> <laughs> and I brought my parents and my sister, yeah, and like I have a video of my dad w holding one on his arm, and it just it was great. Um, so, but it 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 all dovetails in that. So we're we're collecting data before we do the forestry work. Um, we're going to do the work, and then Maddie will continue to collect data to then prove or disprove that the forestry work worked mm. mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. so we're yeah. getting numbers and mm -hmm. yep. yeah so what time is the morning bird part uh, bird banding uh, so party the, start the yeah. bird banding party starts uh, yeah right around sunrise so okay. it changes throughout the season but <laughs> um, okay. usually I think I, what time were we getting there six yeah, <laughs> to about open six. the nets yeah about six. okay 545 yeah. <laughs> but Five yep that part will start in June and I do have kind of a schedule put up uh, put together Basically Saturdays. <laughs> That's when we do it. We ban seven seven days throughout the summer. <clears throat> okay. And that location is again? So uh, so that's Agar Woods. It's so one eleven Ball Hill Road. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. okay. If you want to map it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> right. So so the forester that we're working with is leading a walk for anyone, for the public, to attend to see what's there now have a conversation about the pl the forestry plan and um, right I mean that's yep. what is yeah I was thinking of maybe setting up mist nets and 
doing like a demo, but cool. we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's right. Keep yep. going. Yeah. Keep going. Go um, Luis is doing her thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a very cool project. Um, very excited about kind of this whole long range thing and collecting data before and after and and the birds are really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, like I did get to see some of the songbirds last year. Her, her last day, it was what like ten o'clock in the morning yep. on a in Sunday. Yeah, busiest like net run. We've right, had and all she summer. called. She called me. She texted me and she's like, "We just caught fourteen birds. If you want to come up." And so I went right up, and <laughs> it was very cool. Awesome. Yep. Uh, all right. Now, is that like, is the stewardship walk, is that just Conservation Commission or nope. is that like a, anybody? A yep. I'll probably post event. something on Facebook. Okay, cool. yep. um, I was going to try to create like a little flyer to send to the abutters of Agar Woods. Great. To get yep. them involved because I know like Tom would probably be interested. In sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then send that to me digitally and I'll post it on Brella Neighbors Connect okay. and our Facebook page. Oh. Um, so, all right. Um, let's, we did the CR, Berlin Meadows Garden, that's AJ, we'll wait till he comes back. Would you like to do the Earth Day report? Oh, uh, sure. Okay, so we did not have as big a turnout this year as usual, although we don't know how many people um, did any picking up after the program at the Berlin Memorial School. <coughs> We did have a few kids there who showed up to get their rewards, but <coughs> some of the kids never showed up. Right. Uh, we had 16 uh, children who signed up, and they got their uh, gift certificates to the general store. Awesome. And probably about 25 people came to um, Bridge Realty to sign up. I did get emails from maybe four people who actually did some cleaning up after the link event. Yep. But we don't know how many for sure. Right, and there was an email or two that came before Earth Day saying, like somebody did Linden Street, I think, during the week before. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this email. No. She went to Linden Street. <laughs> and I didn't see anybody on Linden Street. No, like they did it during the week before right, Earth yeah. Day. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I thought. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I saw it somewhere. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I'd like to mention that um, I know of, of one family and two individuals who go around and clean up their neighborhood on a regular basis. It's the Michelson family or Mickelson family. And uh, Bob Blair, of course. Sure. Right. And Steve Rolfe, uh, who lives over in West Berlin, he does the Lancaster Road two or three times a week. Yep. Right, and he picked up, he uh, mentioned that he picked up 67 nips and 67 beer cans. Wow. <laughs> right. Beer in a bump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so then we had Bridge Realty allowed us the use of their office, and, um, you know, they. The parking lot. The parking lot, right, yeah. yeah. And well, they gave us access to the office also. Oh, cool. Yeah. And um, they uh, have stored some of our materials there, but I think they're not going to anymore. I'm not sure, but anyway. Uh, Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Holyoke did the posters for us, mm -hmm. and she posted a couple of things on Facebook. Uh, Carol Adams, uh, who um, is associated with them, mm -hmm. uh, did new signs. Uh, they own the business sign line. Um, sign they, logic right, they Hudson. made new yep. signs and a banner. Uh, Berlin Insurance donated the sweatshirts, and a lot of people took them. One man actually offered to uh, pay for them. We said, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> Here we, yeah. Uh, Ed Munter of the general store donated um, the $5 gift certificates, of which we used 16 of them. Two people showed up at his store and said, where's my gift certificate? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, 
Do you have one? No, you were supposed to get it. And he says, but that's okay. Go spend five dollars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of people Small showed job. up at the transfer station, even though we had told you know put it out on Facebook and everything that they, how they should go about it. Yep. So we need to be clearer on that next year. He donated also coffee with the fixings. Jennifer Cermak of Berlin Farms donated gift bags that had like some candy and popcorn and stuff and then some Earth Day stickers and things like that. Uh, she donated at least 50 of them, of which we gave out, uh, I think it was about, yeah, 16. And then um, some of the kids at St. Joseph's Church had done the cleanup of the grounds at St. Joseph. So I gave them uh, 10 of the bags Excellent. to give out to the kids. We still have about 20, I think. Okay. So um, I'm going to try to find out if any kids at Berlin Memorial didn't get any prize, and we'll give those. Um, and I mentioned the highway department being out there cleaning up and everything. Um, I think. Next year, we need to start earlier, get the word out. A few people have said to me, oh, I didn't know there was a Earth Day, no, there was a cleanup day. Right. And I also think that we should not call it Earth Day because Earth Day is the 22nd. We should call it Berlin Cleanup Day, unless it's actually on Earth Day. Well, Earth Day is, we do it Earth Day Observed. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> right. Because Earth Day is the 22nd, no matter what day of the week that falls on. Right, exactly. So we usually do the weekend closest. Right. But um, there were reasons why we. I think moved a lot it. of towns yeah. do it. Well, that I way. did look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep, exactly. You can't do that stuff during the week. Yeah. Right. And a lot of towns do call it Earth Day. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Do, yeah, absolutely. So yep. I think we should. And I, I looked like in the item, some of the towns were calling it uh, Cleanup Day. Right. So. Yeah. Um, I did look back through some of the old posters and everything, and I think twice in 10 years we did it before. Right. The rest of the time we've done it either Earth Day or after. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because Earth Day usually, vacation usually comes the week of Earth Day or the week before. Right. Yeah. Right. And I do think many times we've tried to avoid that last weekend of school vacation right. so that more people are in town. Right. Yep. Right. So, but I think we need to start earlier because we really didn't start working right. on this. Right. Well, and the other problem, we often get to use the highway sign, yeah. um, but they actually needed it for road closure, whatever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and for some reason it didn't get put up on um, the Lions Club sign. So we need to oh. be... Right. Yeah. Well, I think I think the the miss there was we were expecting the highway to sign, right. which is just across the street. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And and then that right. blew exactly. up on the twenty yeah. third or something like that. I think they moved that just a few days before our right. event, and it was too late. I yeah. Mean, we just right. right. Yep. So yeah. So uh, um, we missed that sign. <laughs> and uh, also, like if another if, if Berlin Memorial is doing something again, I think we need to make sure that we coordinate. You know. Well, so it we seemed like you tried though. Uh, we did. I, I I think it. it if they're going to do something, well, they didn't. Did they do something over at the school they the did. same day? Yeah, they had the. Uh, no, but like the, when the we whale were mobile. But were they over there? Did they have anything set up when we were over at? Um, Right, on Saturday. On Saturday. No. Oh, they didn't. Soccer. Okay. Oh, well, the soccer. Oh, that's what we were talking about, was with all the soccer fields. down there. Right. It might yeah. actually be good to be down there right. at, instead of over on West Street, so that way, you know, people that are over there Yeah, but then see you're going to run into the soccer. Yeah, but the, we also would have people see us and maybe come over. You know, there's plenty of parents yeah. that show up early to do... Right. To we drop would, off their kids. And we would also have to get permission from the Recreation Committee. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. I mean, we can look into it. Yeah. You but know. like, who was it? Was it you that was saying like the little loop there where the old barn used to be? Like that would be probably a good place for us to set up. It's yeah, kind the, of separate yeah, the from tennis. The, yeah. Yeah. Courts. Yeah. Yep. Kind of separate yep. from yep. the school um, driveway, but right. right. Still visible. Well, it's a potential. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we wouldn't need permission from the rec department. It's uh, town property. 
Yeah, I think we, I think we'd be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we should check with them at least. No, we, we don't. We could let them know. Yeah. Right. But yeah. yeah. But, but we're gonna be there. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I do think it it probably wouldn't hurt to at least try it for a year. Right. Right. Well, we used to do it right in the center of town. Um, where, so you've got the first parish church here, and then you've got the, um, actually that wouldn't work because they're open, the many hands, we used to do it right in front of there. We could do it on our property, on You're the, right. at the garden. Right. Not much parking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not much parking. But, but people yeah. come and go. Right. The, right. That, yeah, that yeah. was kind of tough. It's, it's not the greatest corner, The only yeah. problem with that is if it's raining, you know, what are you going to do? Right. And there are no facilities there. Mm, that's true. Right. Right. Anyway, right. we will but figure we it out next year. Right. Right. Um, all right. Well, I would like to thank AJ and Louise for all of your hard work yeah, thank yeah, you. that you guys put into coordinating this. And yeah, yeah. good job. Mm -hmm. Once again, the town looks great. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, the other thing is that um, a number of streets didn't get done, like Bridge Road didn't get done. I was told oh, that yeah. Whit Whitney Street didn't get done. And none of the small streets, like um, Dudley Road, off of Dudley Road, mm -hmm. those didn't get done. Uh, Priest Road, though, there's a bunch of small roads there, they didn't get done. Right. Um. Oh, and two. Two of our uh, parking lots got done. Up awesome. On. Yeah, AJ put together a list of all of the Conservation yeah. Commission parking lots. Right. So that was a nice thing and to have. Yeah. Right. So um, the Lawrence, uh, the Holyoke family, well, Lawrence and the kids, yeah. did um, 40 40Ks, Ks. both nice. parking lots. And um, somebody did the grounds at the town offices in. Um, Jill. Right, and somebody did Agar Woods. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what they did. Yep. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Oh, yeah, those were two third graders and the mothers of uh, people that did that one. Awesome. Right, yeah. Yeah. And the other one that got done is, um, I thought there was another one. Oh, no, the town office uh, did get done. Yep. Right. Gracie and I did um, the lot on Linda. Oh, I know. <coughs> for Horseshoe Park. Oh, yes. Yep. AJ and Gracie did. Yeah. Right. But, right. Horseshoe Park. And, um, okay, wait a minute. There's another one. Um, oh, I know. Aunt Jill. Muldoon. Malika did um, the grounds. Yeah. She did the grounds behind um, the development. Behind Highland Ridge? No, um, at the school grounds. Yeah. Oh, South behind Common. South Commons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. picked up, yeah. She, yeah. she brought out two tires from there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Good for her. What yep. are they doing back there? Um, all right. Awesome. Good job, guys. So we'll do Bluebird Trail, and then we'll do Berlin Meadows, and then I think we're done. Oh, good. Unless anybody else has anything else, so. Well, just, you know, quick on the Bluebird thing. Some of you may notice I put something on Berlin Neighbors a couple of weeks ago about, you know, we were going to put out some Bluebird houses and have a Bluebird. A few people responded. And um, I wanted to put something. AJ and I have got up about 40 Bluebird houses, you know. Wow. 45. And uh, I've contacted Cornell and then Mass Audubon, but... You know, maybe you would know, Maddie. How could we get kind of a um, Berlin Birders group going or something? I mean, we're, we've got to try to turn the public on to what we're doing. And I think the Bluebird thing would be a way of doing it, setting up some trails. And as well, you know, as you know, you have to monitor them and you have to set them up. And there's a lot to it. And there's some interested people, but. So I wrote something up, but I wasn't going to put it on Facebook again because I don't want to be the contact. So <laughs> I think we need a website or something that uh, people can communicate with us directly. Uh, you, with that, we should have a garden club too and get people involved with that. There's also be beside the meadows. There's a couple of other places in town, but we've got a lot of. Um, I'd, I'd like to. I think it would be a good idea. That would engage the public a little bit with this 
the, the idea of the bluebird trails and building nest boxes and all kinds of stuff like that. But have you ever been involved in that? Yeah, so I do mm -hmm. have like data sheets for monitoring boxes, kind of how to go about it. So we definitely train people, maybe okay. use our Facebook page as a, hey, yeah. if you're interested, let us know. And then we can set up like maybe a Saturday or Sunday, we do like a workshop. Maybe we show people how to build bluebird boxes. <laughs> Review. Oh, that's exactly right. Like yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what we're talking. Yeah. Yep. Review how to like monitor them. Yeah. Tell what type of bird you have nesting yeah. in there. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just. Yeah. I think that would be a good approach. But, but what is the way to communicate? How can we best reach out and uh, think, get people involved? I think our best bet is probably starting with the post on Facebook of like, hey, get out there, involved, reach out to us if you're interested, and then start like an email list of people. Okay, they reach out to us. Who's us? How are they gonna reach out? So we'll list the conservation account as the email uh, to reach right, out to they can, oh, really? they can or email they can reply right conservation. To oh, okay. I've yep. never mm -hmm. done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, yep. you actually email conservation all the time. <laughs> so, all right, good. So then I, I think I'll put something up on Facebook because Facebook, they want to know, well, could we put them at the community guides, which we did. Yeah. You, you put up that Kestrel house, and uh, we put them up. Every place that somebody suggested, well, could you put up a house, we, AJ and I put it up. Yep. So I'd like to put that on there, but I don't want, so I, I you know what I'll do? I'll post a conservation website. I mean, um, email. Yeah. yeah. Contact that and get in. And then we'll organize something. Yeah. So, yep. mm -hmm. so. And do you right. have this digitally? Yep. So, I can. so we can put this on our um, Facebook page. Yep. So conservation yep. has its own Facebook page. As we well. do. Yep. Well, I would link to the conservation Facebook page as well because I mean I'm sure there's plenty of people that don't know it exists that would be interested. Yeah. And vice versa. So like you know you want to cross post. Yeah. So yeah. you post on the conservation and mention the the Berlin neighbors, neighbors connect. connect. So okay. people can connect to that and then you post on Berlin neighbors connect and mention the conservation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Facebook right. page. Could so we also? Anybody that's on either of those individually yeah. can get involved. All right. Right. Because that's key and then you post the email and it, you know, pulling it together. All right. And Could um, we also post it on the town website? If we're holding, uh, it, just like an information thing, probably not, but if we're holding uh, an event, an event right. that we can. Um, Walter and I talked about having a birdhouse building. We may have discussed yep. building event. Sure. I, I did this back in Minnesota. Right. Where the kids come in, they get, and, and with Gracie's school, they get, come in and get to pound a few nails and yeah. go home with a, mm. but uh, no guarantee they'll put it up. But yeah. It's um, kind of getting towards the end of the spring. Uh, right, but for next year. Auction, but but in right. the fall, well, like, get them up in the fall. You yeah. Know. But not just birds, but then bees, because we can do a lot for bees too. Mm -hmm. And then also the bats. Remember, we were doing the bat the stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's so much. Yeah. yeah. More. Butterflies. Yeah. yeah. Do we hear yeah. from our bat guy at all? The guy that built the. My neighbor. Does he? Oh, that was yeah. Who is that? It, Gordon? <laughs> yeah. Gordon. I really? emailed him. Gordon? Now that we're talking awesome. about this, I emailed him and he never responded. I don't um, see him much. Usually I see his family out all the time, but I haven't seen him. <laughs> well, obviously I haven't been here in a while, right. but I usually do see him run into him right. a lot. I'm trying to I remember who's, like, why specifically. Somebody wanted to do something. Was that you? For you? Okay. Get in touch with Holly. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to try well, to find out who it was. <laughs> no, we all no I, knew who, I knew who it was, and I did email him. Yeah, okay. And it just occurred to me that I hadn't heard back, so. Yeah, because I thought he was going to do stuff. Too, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I know he was going to help us. He helped us out a bit because we see some bats now that we didn't see in a while. So that's great. Right. Uh, I think. Are we going to try to do that this week? We could try to do that. Yeah. This week. Or, or next. <laughs> Peg. Okay. We got one to put up at the top. The Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, because I know that they're always looking for activities for Eagle Scout badge. Mm -hmm. So I can get you the name of the Girl Scout leader. I think they take a wee bit of a hiatus in the summer mm -hmm. but they'll probably start back up in fall so it would probably okay. be a great yeah. great project because one gal came one young girl came to us where they put the bat house up at the community garden and then at the fence and that was her girl scout equivalent of eagle project mm -hmm. okay. somebody's yeah. also working on a pollinator one mm. oh, so nice. it might fall right in line yeah, yeah. So the, who put the one up at the gardens 
A Girl Scout. Oh, right, because, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I put a bluebird on, and that mm -hmm. wasn't there one day, and the next day it was there. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, how can we get the, the Boy Scouts involved in Earth Day and in, in clean up? Email Chris Pendergast. Uh, we tried that a few years ago. No response. Then you don't get Right, then. Simple as that. Just try them again. I mean, just do it right, every year. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sponsor, he doesn't, but he reached and out. That's the important. There's part. another thing, too. I mentioned the town website. Um, Mary started posting. If she saw something on Facebook, she would post it on the um, town website. Like as an event? In, in like if an yeah. event was happening? Right. Like in a cal as a calendar type thing. Honestly, Louise, we'd have to look at it because there's things that can go up there and things that can't go up there, so you're not... I'm sorry, what? Said there are items that you can post and items that you can't right. post, and we've gone through and we've put a, not a bylaw but a guideline together. It's like the same with the blinky sign. There are certain organizations that you can broadcast their event. There are other organizations that you can't broadcast their event. So we'd probably have to look to see truly because unfortunately there are lawsuits going on all over the place right, regarding right. you put my stuff up but you didn't put you right. know, this stuff up so yeah. we'd have to look into that to see what types of notifications could go on the town of Berlin website and honestly that one doesn't get a lot of traffic compared to Berlin Neighbors Connect and Berlin yeah. Residence. Right. Facebook is really right. the communication mm. tool. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the website is a website, but I mean, yeah. people don't like, oh, I'm going to go on the town website and yeah, see what exactly. there is to do. Right, right. Like to see now. what information, <laughs> right, to yeah, see what events like see, are happening. Like, how do I pay this use bill? Use Janet the item because I know that they're trying to get their uh, subscribers up, so the more stuff that she can post either in print or online, she's happy to do it as long as she has enough notice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Good you know, to know. One thing I find about uh, Facebook, like, so you post something on Berlin Neighbors Connect, and you see it, and then you go three or four days later, and you try to find it, and you can't find it. That's called the algorithm. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. there. It's, it's right. just Bare. somewhere, right. yeah. And yeah. you might go three days after that, and it pops up. Yeah. Sure, because someone, so saw, it, it cause someone comment, sure. saw it and commented. It, it, yeah. It does, yeah, yeah, somebody commented or you got enough likes. It's engagement is what drives the algorithm right. most for the most part. Right. And then content has something to do with it. But it's... it's right, yeah, it's which is why you have to... Book. Right, so for yeah. like for Earth Day, we should have posted more often. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. To keep it up. Or, or ask, really, what we should have done is ask Peter to pin it to the top for, the, for, for a week or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. So anytime we do an event, we want to ask Peter to pin it to the top. Right. So it always pops up at the top of your feed if you look at Berlin Neighbors Connect for like a week yeah. before the event. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, it can, gets more eyeballs. Though. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so it doesn't get buried. Yep. yep. Right. Yeah. Also, cool. did we create, create it as an event or did we just do a post? Because you can. We create, just did it as a post. So maybe that thing too. Maybe we can do a couple different things. Maybe we can right. create, create an, an event. event. Yeah. Create an event, a public event. You right. Know, yeah. Yeah. That way, that Anybody way. that wants to help with the Facebook page is more than welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because that's not my strong point, putting stuff on the Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. I have, um, can I ask just two brief questions? You can. Uh, uh, one is um, some of the residents at Highland Ridge were wondering about a, having a, a fire pit farther okay. down. Does that require a permit? No. Not not like a burn permit. Right. You don't need a burn permit. Um, depending on where it is, like if it's in the buffer zone, it, we'll figure out where you want it and we'll talk. Okay. How's that? No. I have, well, I think I know what they had in mind, but I would need to define to yeah. that more. Yeah. So. Yep. And then for the pond, is there any is there any benefit or is there ever any requirement? I assume there wasn't because there's no aeration. Is that something that might be beneficial as we're getting into the closing stages? Uh, what would the, like say the right? Deal so with? it that was originally intended to be a detention pond, so it was supposed to drain. Um, they didn't they did really. They didn't really build. <laughs> they didn't really build it right. So then they redesigned it to a retention pond. 
Right. Um, which is kind of why there's always water in it. Right. Um, but it's it's not um, designed for any scenic value or anything. So, um, and it's really not designed to hold enough water that it would be worth setting up an aeration system. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought that was the answer, but I yep. just thought I would Never just hurts to ask. Is this yep. the pond down by the well? This. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that it's not going to sustain fish. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, and I believe the purpose of the aeration would be to keep algae from growing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I see. You want to learn about that map, or are we going to talk about the middle garden? You want to talk about the garden? Sure. So Walter enlightened me, <laughs> as he does, about <laughs> I want more color. <laughs> and I, I agree. And and I want the daffodils, and I want the... And, and I got to thinking about my gardens, because last time I said, well, let's move move to these wildflowers. Only so, wildflowers, right. Well, yeah, focus on that. Yeah. But we need ground cover, too. And what would really work, like it does in my gardens, is to have that flash bang in the spring with the daffodils and the tulips and stuff, and then the other stuff starts to fill in. Mm -hmm. And you've got color going on all summer long. So I made up, actually, some samples of what that might look like. Uh, just a few of the of the possibilities. We may have to share, because I wasn't counting on the, yeah. next, this is for later, uh, okay. next. <laughs> and uh, that's weird. So, so oh, was, I didn't realize there were that. Yeah, and, and some of these flowers are yeah. already existed in the garden. Like the uh, right on the front, there was some yarrow there. Yeah, but yarrow is a great volunteer. Remember what yeah. I said last time? That gardening is a, is a, a journey, not a destination. Yeah. <laughs> but what we're, what we're used to is the malls and stuff. They replant, they replant, they replant four or five times a season. Sure. And they've always got that color just flying all over the place. I don't think we have the money or the staff no. to manage. No. And that's no. why well, I was know, moving it, to it these perennials. We, the money perennials, could come yeah. from volunteers and donations. I mean, but let's get something going. Yeah. If you come up with a plan, yeah. and I, again, the tulips, as you said, and the daffodils, yeah. and the color in, in the uh, spring. You go up to Shirley. I mean, you go up in the center of town, it's just exploding here and there. Right, but they gardens, probably have a parks department that takes care of well, that. Well, let me finish. We, you don't know that. The, well, th that is true. Okay. I do not. So they may, but, but they may not have a parks department that does that. So <laughs> I believe that out. there would be enough people so like, interested in that. It, <laughs> to do it if we simply got together. If you had a plan, I would go and do something, but. I'm not sure what you want to do yet. Yeah. Plus the beehive, in a way, I'm not going to get into digging up on that end of it. So <laughs> we should put the beehive down by the tree, down on the field, and then we can work that garden and get it going. Yeah. Another year's gone by. I think I, I think we have to remove the beehive altogether because when I when I went down on the lower end there, there really isn't a spot where a it's the, my idea was to make it a little bit visible, but but the morning sun isn't going to find it any place that it's going to be visible yeah. down there. So it can just go away. I can just move it somewhere else. It, it, and that's fine. But I think to get that garden going in yeah. the little triangle in front of the old town hall and a couple and the, other places. And, then, and, uh, and you pointed out those, those nice planters right in front of the general store. I don't know who owns those. But they, they'd be a... Yeah. Well, I went into the lumber company the other day, but the guy yeah, wasn't there in charge, so I couldn't do anything. The lumber no. company owns do some they? of them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I, my, my plan is not to plant weeds there, it's to plant flowers. Right. But, but it takes a long time to get the perennials going, but once they're established, they're bulletproof. Most of them are. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and um, these are just a few examples of right. things that we might... Um, for I may color. have some cranes bill that you can have. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I'd have bleeding hearts yeah. that you can. Yeah, I, would yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, yeah. we can get this stuff donated, I'm <coughs> sure. Right. I um, love blanket flower. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I think you've made some great selections yeah. so far. But, but I, I really, really think Walter's absolutely right. We need, we need that 
spring relief from all the gray and brown right. Right. with a whole bunch of color. But but they're they're done by the first of June. Yep. And that's why this stuff is then, you know, Comes coming up. coming up behind it. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. And and you know we we put a lot of annuals in our gardens. Before the Zinnias. end of the week, go let's sit down and get serious and, and lay get a piece of paper and go down and we'll draw something up. What do you want in yeah. there? If and you know what it is, then we can prepare to do the digging and the excavating. I'll go down there. I can get a bunch of guys to go down there with no trouble at all. We mm -hmm. whip that together. But what is the plan? I, I'm not a gardener, back. so I can't put right? it together. Right. Yeah. Um, we also do have some money in the budget. Mm -hmm. That we could buy some, you know, some yeah. perennials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, even if we buy a, a percentage of what we ultimately want, a lot of them se seed themselves, yep. so mm -hmm. they'll spread. Mm -hmm. And a lot um, of these. yep, that would be a great way to use up our budget. And we yeah. should do that every spring. I feel like we leave money on the table every year. So. Yeah, it would, somehow we always manage to spend most of it yeah, by, the, the, by the time. But yeah, yeah I mean we. Yeah. Even a even hundred bucks would go. Right. Yeah. So, right. right, and we can go to Gillis's um, yeah. and then plan a planting party okay. for one evening. Um, we got to get all the, the grasses that are growing up between the daffodils. We got to get figure out how to get rid of that. Right. Well, but once the, gra the once the daffodils die back, dig them up and then replant them. We can dig. You can't kill them. Right. Yeah, but I, I think they're 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 they absolutely have a place in there. Yeah, and the and the color. Agreed, and they're early pollen for the bees. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So whoa! Look at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> That's standing nice. Let's let's okay. We can get together. We'll figure it out. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. Let us know when we should go down and we. Yeah. Okay. Probably, I will preferably make it a first life. Yeah, <laughs> not first light. <laughs> <laughs> and preferably before the mosquitoes get bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the last thing I have is uh, Sudbury Valley Trustees is coming to town with some volunteers to do invasive removals at Highland Ridge. Nice. Uh, on a Tuesday. When? That's a silly would day you to do that. like yes. one of these well, to put up you in know your? What? Yes, we okay, do I can that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, people one of them is for Highland Ridge. Exactly. One of them is for the store. One of them is for 19 Carter. And uh, I put one down the hall here already. Awesome. So there's one extra. But okay. You want to put one over where? You're over at the. Sure. Yeah. You can one put one up on the bulletin board. board. Yeah. yeah. Do you have I, like I one extra? Or? Yeah, I can print more. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give me two because there's two bulletin boards. Anyway, if anybody uh, wants to take uh, May 14th off, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 9 to 11. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put one at the general store. Sure the boss yeah. would kill okay. <laughs> so, awesome. Just wanted to let everybody know that's coming, especially those folks who are tuned in. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to post that on Facebook? Yeah, I, I don't. I, uh, SVT gonna, will probably post. Um, oh. Certainly on their website right. and yep, on their Instagram feed. So we can like share, share yeah. their post. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It is already up there. Yeah. yeah. And this the will take sure. you there. The QR code sure. for the, this no, okay. takes you to the registration. Oh. Okay. Yep. So and you have to register, register with them. Oh. Although I have to say, people have walked up when when I'm going out with them, and and we let them go along. Right, it's they, mo they it's the registration is more it's so that it's a pardon it's a, right. Part of it's a waiver, but part of it's also so that they don't leave without you. Yeah, like if it's right. a, if they're going deep into the woods or whatever, they know they're waiting for eleven people. Yeah, right. you know, and it's also so you got a rough count of your numbers, so you're not like. You can bring tools for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So they get your email address so they can keep sending you things. That, <laughs> that too. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's not kid yeah. ourselves here. The Data collection. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad we, we keep the garden conversation going. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All um, right. I went by yeah. the, uh, the site where the train wreck was. Oh, yeah. And the vegetation is looking pretty good, but I couldn't actually go down into the rail property. Mm -hmm. I had to view it from the road and that parking mm -hmm. lot. Um, 
So is it okay to contact them and say, we'd like to take a look at it? The silt fence is falling down, there are trees over it, the boom across the creek is compromised. But I don't think anything has to be done except get all that stuff out of the woods. Right. So I did contact uh, Jonathan oh, you did. Oh, you did. from okay. TRC. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't heard back from him. I just okay. did it the other day, just being like, hey, it, what's the, do you have any reports on what's going on with, you know, the okay. train derailment thing? How does the vegetation come in, that kind of thing? Are we, and, we right, like, and how many days ago? Uh, I think yesterday did it. Maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, right, if you don't hear from him, like, by the end of the week, poke and ping him again. Okay. We'll be... Let's be a little bit squeaky on yep. this one. <laughs> and, um, right, and then when you do hear from him, we'll make sure that he knows we want that stuff removed. Okay. Pardon my ignorance, but where was the trail terrain with trail with? So, off of so there were three of them last summer. <laughs> yeah, I felt like there was more than one. Yep. Yeah. So, but the one that we're talking about was Allen Road, which is... Street, Allen Road. Allen Road, right. So it was right. So this is the train track, okay. right? This line here, and it was okay. like right here. Gotcha. Okay. It was like right, yeah, it was right there because it was next to private property. Yep. Um, measure and it was, was where the this, from the creek, right? Where the stream, where the stream is closest to the track. Oh, perfect! And there is a site in Fitchburg where they the train in open box cars. Um, it's a is it, it's a recycling yeah. a, a construction recycling center demolition construction Oof. right deconstruction yeah, okay. so. The train derailed, it and dumped three everything out. cars fell over and dragged down nice. the track. And of course, it didn't fall on the not river side. No, it no. fell on the river side. Yeah, and it, yeah, that was that was a giant mess. Yeah. Um. We eventually did get somebody to pay attention. Because, yeah. <laughs> as you know, dealing with the the so re. It turned out that conservation was kind of the only body in town that had any authority over the site at all. Right. Because it didn't happen on the roads, so the police didn't have any any say. There were no hazardous materials, so the fire department didn't. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't happen on the roads, so the highway department had, like, Those nothing, adults, right. nobody... Nobody in town had any. Nobody in town had any addiction. except for us. Yeah. Huh. Right. It's and like we found out about it. I believe this is the one that the fire chief saw someone on Allen Road posted it on Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that was, it was yep. like they didn't Almost even notify accident. us yeah. that it happened. No, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah, they had two on Allen Road, didn't they? Or they had a de uh, another derailment, but the second one, nothing fell over. The mm -hmm. cars didn't fall over. Um, that one was recent, right. also. Yeah. 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 It's it's a mess. So. Sounds it. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, somebody expressed interest in that map, so I went up to Worcester and got it. Let me explain it to you. And then oh yeah. Know. Let's. <laughs> They do a great job for us, by the way. So <clears throat> this has been in the making over a couple of decades of make it out, but it, it, the idea was to start with land that is protected anyway. Now, all the hydrology is on there, and that's sacred. And then the buffers are on there. The River Protection Act is on it. Then the lands we bought are on it, whether it's uh, Hudson Water, NDC, Berlin Conservation, SVT, um, and then <coughs> zoning, and then every place that already, oh, all the vernal pools, potential vernal pools, I know there's a couple that aren't on here, and um, all the areas that are already developed are in light gray, so what's left is the areas that, you know, we really should focus on in, you know, trying to get particularly up in this area here, the Rainville Farm and stuff, and in the West Berlin and wherever there are the areas of hook on, but that's pretty much up to date. 
And uh, do you want to get laminated like the one behind you there? Or? I don't think that is laminated. I know. What is that? Is it just, just on heavier paper? It's just glossy and heavy paper. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, all That's right. It. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I can get him to print it on a paper. Uh, I've got two of these and then two uh, 18 by whatever they are, 17. Mm. Right. So anyway, but that's um, the latest map, and that somebody is wanted cool. to see it. Yeah. yeah. It shows it's good ecological map. Right. Thing. So we should probably replace this. Yeah. Is it online anywhere? Do they post that? You know, Say that again. Do they have yeah, that posted? No, yeah, it's only I did I old, but it's pretty ratty. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty it's also not days. Days. I right. think I forwarded you all the email that S the Central Mass sent me, and I don't know how to use Dropbox. If you, oh, you go yeah. on Dropbox and look it up, I couldn't do it. But anyway, yeah. That was great, yeah. So right. I'll send it out again. I must not. Oh, okay. I thought I did. Okay. That would be nice. Um, Anybody want to do a craft project? <laughs> what right. do you want to have that one? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just that on foam board, yeah. <laughs> See, if it was a woodworking project, I'd have done I know. Oh, foam yeah. board, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put my tape to measure it. Yeah. Um. You say you have two of those, Walter? Yeah. Yeah, so we could mount one to a foam board? Yeah. Oh, the, the rubber band was has been here. Oh, did you get the rubber band? No. Did I? Put it on your did I take it? <laughs> <laughs> did I lose it? That'll be it was I yeah. What are you looking for? The rubber band that I've been playing with the whole oh, meeting. Oh, it was right here. I know. <laughs> I've got hair ties oh, in the is. truck. I know. <laughs> for Grace. <laughs> I didn't think you were using them. <laughs> Unless you had an abnormally long beard long, like recently that you shaved off. I don't know. All right. Thank you, Walter, for getting that. Um, does anybody have anything else? Uh, I was thinking that maybe we could send thank you letters to these people. Sure. That, like these three people, yeah, because they do, and we know of anybody else that goes on on a regular basis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we haven't gotten the uh, the checks from Highland Wine and Spirits yet. Okay. Do we need to go up and pick it up? Uh, they're gonna let me know when they get them. Okay. Yeah, so, Great. but I'm gonna check this. Um, Peter Hoffman mentioned that we should bring all the nips. Uh, to Highland Wine and Spirits and have them display it again? Well, probably not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Just well, take what will fit know. in my Wait, truck. Don't we want to <laughs> make people aware of how bad Just it, it is? Just do it, Just do it. Yeah. You don't have to debate it. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it. Well, I, I'm not going to be liking them down there. They're too heavy for me. But, um, yeah. Um, uh, I'll do the thank you later. Okay, that'd uh, be great. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else? Go home. Yes, let's go somewhere warm. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm freezing. I know. Yeah, yeah okay. it's so cold in here. <gasps> uh, make a motion. Make, uh, a motion. Uh, make a motion to end the meeting at 9.03 p.m. Second. Second.